12, you open it up and there's Narnia in the wardrobe. I'm just kidding. Nice. Uh, <laughs> but what you see is a big room full of uh, supplies. In this chair, the dwarf is sitting tied up and they're like training the dogs to nip at her legs and like, I think, I think this is the guns of blazing type situation. Holy cow. Did I get him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this guy just, uh, to them, just falls over dead. The spell the spell lets you convince a beast that you mean it no harm. It it starts licking it and... We now have a little it. <laughs> it fits. There we go. It fits that, that you'd be able to do that too, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> you have convinced it that you mean no harm and you're out of combat. Well, no, well, yes, you're out of combat. Can we now... Immediately go over to the, the dwarf yeah, the and untire. Dwarf. Yep. Yep, sure can. The barrel dwarf. She need to be. Does she need to be healed? Uh, she isn't looking great, but she's looking fine. Uh, well, she's not looking great, but she's not looking dead near death either. Valus so it depends on you. Yes. What you want to do? I'm, I can. Her, I can use a healer skip. But what were you gonna do first? I give her water. Who? Who are you? Who? We're here to rescue you. Oh, do you guys have a? Team name? <laughs> no, she doesn't say that. Um, uh, the regretters. Stay tuned. <laughs> stay tuned. Stay tuned. Well, I thought she something. said Satan. I was like, no, no. Do you guys follow not. Satan? <laughs> Molly Crew. <laughs> oh, where did you come from? Oh, thank you so much. And you're like untying her. She's like rubbing her wrists. Like they were rubbed raw by the, the the dense the ropes. Yeah. Do you need a minute? Can we ask you some questions? Uh, uh I'll, yeah, sure. Uh, I just want to get out of here. Please. Thank you. Do you know how you were brought here? I was just traveling on the road with, uh, with my, my kids. And we were attacked. Wait, where are you kids? kids got, my kids got away. They ran into the forest. I don't know what happened to them. I'm so worried. But we okay, were just I'm traveling gonna heal on a road. While this is happening. I'm, I'm like halfway dead. <laughs> I'm gonna heal myself while this is happening. We're carrying. We we're just uh, transporting some goods since you know we have to make the travel ourselves since their father died. And uh, these these thugs just came out of the woods and 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 cap it, it, like uh, tied me down and my kids were able to run away. But I don't know. How long ago was this? Oh, just yesterday. I've been tied here since then. Um, I give her a little food, water, whatever she needs. Oh, thank you, thank you. She drinks and eats it greedily, um, like right in front of you, still sitting in the, uh, the chair. Can I go? Where's the way out? Do you know the way out? Can we... Do you have anywhere to go? No. <laughs> maybe she, yeah, maybe she should you stick around with us. You know where you are? I don't. No, they just, they blindfolded me. They brought me down. I remember... There was like a long tunnel. We, I know tunnels, and uh, uh, and then we were. They pulled off the bag, and I was tied in this chair. And they had wolves, and they watched over. It and they just recently were making the wolves attack me. Where are you from? I'm from a a, a town not too far away from here called Elkstock. Do you have any idea on why they captured you? I don't know. I don't know. There was another uh, dwarf here in one of the holding cells over there, and uh, they recently took him out. He didn't look so good. They took him out. Uh, they were saying things about selling him, and then they they disappeared uh, behind those like bookcases and stuff. Oh shoot! Is there another way out of here? <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. Um, uh, could one of us go check behind the behind the stuff and see? How cool would it be to send the wolf to check it out? Can we? Can we? It, like, is it? It just knows it you mean it no harm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you don't necessarily say. control the wolf. I was gonna say. <laughs> unless it you was worth a shot. Unless you want to try. <laughs> I'm I'm healed up, so I don't mind going to check real quick. Actually. Um, can I go take a look? Yeah. See if there's a way out that mm -hmm. direction. Yeah, you go to the back of the room, and uh, where you saw the one of the thugs leave, uh, and uh, he left a secret door wide open. Gosh, dang through a dark tunnel. Um, Getting the idea that there's a lot of tunnels here. Also, I have cool changing lights that change colors and I have not used them today. It's been yellow all day. That's supposed <laughs> to be the sunny outsideness. <laughs> I, I think I think she should chill with us and then yeah. like she should probably lay low at um, 
What's the name of the, the tavern you guys have? I I've been there sort of once. Lobby waving fellow. No, the tavern, the, the the tavern that you was the tavern. that the you we guys named just it after yeah, Wabi. Named it after oh, you Wabi. named it after. Okay. <laughs> okay. The breezy fiddle. Now that was Wabi waving feather. Okay. Just um, Robbie Wave with Feathers. Because I think, no. yeah, she could probably lay low there until we figure out what what in the world happened to her kids and everything like that, but she should probably stick around with us and, until we get back there. But that's just a thought. Alone. Where should I go? I don't know this area. I don't know what to do. Can she go rest on the bed with the other dude? Uh, well, with the big bad guy in the other room. Okay, yeah, you're right. <laughs> also, um, does the tunnel look really dark and foreboding? Yeah. Can I... Can I cast light, toss a card down, and see if I see anything? Yeah. You can call me over to you. How far can you? Oh, go? that's right. Uh, never mind. I take it. I can I wreck on that and have her look. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> she has really, she has very, very good, good uh, dark sight. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you go over and you look down the tunnel and it's, it goes as far as you can see. Nothing else though. No, just darkness. Uh, past that. Just a, it's like a one of those dugout tunnels with a few support beams and whatnot. And, yeah, I don't know. That looks sketch. I think we should take the the other door. <laughs> I think yeah. we we'll cut we'll chalk that guy up for loss and then go after. Um, how do you Hansel. say your name? Hansel. 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 Yeah. Is there? But that's just Is me. that chest think? in the room big enough to hide the? What's her name? I don't know. He didn't ask. What's your name? <laughs> what is your, yeah, for real. <laughs> you guys are like discussing around here. Uh, <laughs> She's terrified. My name is uh, Cherry Samsud. Hi, Cherry. My name is Valis. Nice Hi, Valis. Thank you so much for rescuing me. Um, question: Is that big enough to hold her? Oh, uh, the the the. I don't know what that is. The, the big wardrobe. The, the wardrobe. Yeah, yeah. There's, I mean, you can go over and look. Um, okay. I'll and you'll find it. like just again a few more extra clothing bits here and there. And but yeah, she she'd fit. Do you guys want to just hide her? Stuff the dwarf in the cabinet. Is she, yeah. if she's okay with that, I mean, yeah. she wants to hide out until we come back. So, yeah. Wavi, uh, Wavi, Wyatt has no <laughs> idea what's going on because he's still outside of the room. Have you not yeah. come in at all at no, this point? No, I'm okay. still. You, yeah, you probably heard that the, the scuffle. The yeah, so I've heard ended. that like all the, the combat or whatever the ruckus was ended, but Sounds I have like no idea here, what's going on. Yeah, I'm just like, I'm just <laughs> like, yo, I'm like, watch, <laughs> watch dog, like looking at, because I've already seen something uh, happen over there. So I'm but just making sure. But we don't know sure. you saw that. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so it's just the three of us in the room. Do I just, you... if she's okay with it, maybe we should ask her. How would you feel about hiding out, Cherry? Are you just gonna leave me here? No, we'll We've come already back. saved you once. We'll save you again. <laughs> Uh, where are you going? Can't we just go now? Well, there's, there's some bad a, people in the other room. Yeah, there's a really bad person in the other room that we need to take care of first. Okay. That way we make sure no one else ends up in the situation like you. Yeah, I'll try to be quiet. I can hide. Do you need, do, does anyone have like a little dagger or something we can leave with her? Oh, man. I don't have. I mean... There's a bunch of dead bodies. There's a bunch of guys with weapons. Okay. Can we, can we just take, um, I rummage through one of the bodies and find something? Yeah, yeah. You usually find a little dagger. That's, that's their mo. Just, yeah. just to put her even more at ease. Like I'm gonna speak dwarvish to her and like pat her on the shoulder and say everything's gonna be okay. Oh, and she speaks back in dwarvish to you. You know dwarvish. Oh, thank you so much for saving us. Thank you. I'm a little bit terrified of you. You did just kill a bunch of people really quickly, but thank you. <laughs> and uh, I'll wait here for you. I think I trust you. And it's better than the chair in Wolves. What are you gonna do with that one? Is he staying here? Which one? He'll wait. come with. The wolf that you. Oh no, he's coming with us. No, we're not leaving that thing with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah. We're good. It's my wolf. No. It's your wolf. Well, I don't know if the wolf thinks that. <laughs> but we'll find out. it just thinks you you mean it no harm. <laughs> Okay. Well, at least try to get it away. Okay, from so her. anyway, she, yeah. She'll yeah. get into the, the wardrobe and you'll close it behind her and mm -hmm. she, you know. Pile over with uh, our boy Wyatt over there. Yeah, let's yeah. Like, fill Wyatt saying? in on everything. That wasn't much, but. The wolf stays and sits on the ground. Okay. No more wolf. Sorry, Wolfie. You hear a scratching sound. It won't. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm worried about leaving it <laughs> yeah, in the room with her. It was just trying to eat her a minute ago. Yeah, Wolves can't open up cabinets. <laughs> it's true. 
<laughs> this dwarf's gonna have to just listen. be terrified in <laughs> that freaking yeah. wardrobe. Does it still have its chain? Can we tie the wolf oh, back yeah, up to real. the table yes, or something? Okay. Okay. So Sweet. let's tie yeah. it to the chair or something okay. so it, there we it go. doesn't. Who's doing it? Uh, Probably King, since yeah. he's the strongest. Yeah. Okay. Make a dexterity check for me. I don't know why. Get I'm it, King. Check. No I problem. For tying. That's the best thing I can think for tying something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 11. Okay, good to know. All right. Um, <clears throat> Please tell me that doesn't come undone. Come back and she's dead. <laughs> no, Jerry, no. All right, so you guys leave the room and meet up with Wyatt. Mm-hmm. Cool. Do you okay, feel so thing? nothing bad happens from that? No. Okay, cool. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> doesn't have to That happen. we know <laughs> of. bloodshed everywhere. The wolf still looks happy and okay. fine. Okay. Let's charge that other door. What Sweet. Do you, so we objective? quick debrief. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you guys fill me in on everything. We tell you about right. the whole. The, okay. You know. um, and then I fill you guys in on just seeing someone pop their head out. Um, don't know who it is. Don't know what I saw, but I did see movement um, coming from uh, that direction. So. Let's get do you I know, know I've suggested this before, but a rest wouldn't hurt. I am down 11. I agree with that. I don't know what you're I can down. still heal you, heal you more if you want. And or I'm willing, I, to, I'm just, willing to take out a med kit. one bad guy run away, and I really feel like Hansel's going to do that to us, and I want to get her. Yeah, I want to get her too. How much are you hurt as well, Lewis? I'm at, a, I'm at 15 right now, but I would like to regain my extra key point before we go back in. But if, if you guys are up for it, well, let's just do it. I can heal you guys. A little bit, yeah. I can still heal you guys. How? Um, I'm going to cast Cure Wounds on uh, Big Boy King over here for my last uh, spell slot. Um, it's this one. Oh, there we go. Seven plus three, so that's ten. Nice. There you go. That's a 24. All right. That was, I got that right. That You're almost all the way up. Cure Wounds add your spell casting modifier, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. yep. Sorry. There should be a plus three for you. For you. And Unless you're a cleric, I think it's even better. Do we have a med kit for Valus? You're gonna heal me too. I think I think I use the healer's kit on you already. Did I? Yeah. What did I use to heal you? You didn't heal me yet. Oh, I'm perfect. Still at 15. Then I can yeah I can use my healer's kit on you. All Perfect. right, got four left. I'm actually shocked that I don't have any. Wow. Well, you wouldn't be able to use it to heal anyways. Um, Yours, uh, med kits usually just use to stabilize. He mm -hmm. has a feat plus four, seven, that allows him to do it. Fair Nine. to heal. Fair, fair, fair. So I'm back up. Nine. Cool. Sweet. All right. Okay. Cool. Let's go. But I, I can only the way healer's kit works is I can only use it once per day though on you. I can only and then you yeah. I don't plan on dying today, so we're good. Um, All right. I ask Wyatt if can you tell anything about the person that came out of the door? Was it a woman? Just had a hood. Just saw a face. Not even that. I could just make out that it was a person that was just looking out. Okay. Um, so. Let's go. Let's do it. All right. All right. Um, so I'll lead the, the charge. I have my shield out uh, and my weapon not drawn, but my hand is on my waist just prepared to, okay. to draw it. So you guys go up to the door. <clears throat> is our friend still lying Who's there next? sleeping? Yeah. Uh, you haven't entered yet. The oh. door is closed. Oh, okay. Yeah. Again. Yeah. Uh, Obviously not locked. Okay, did so we I close walk it in. when we left? Well, it's kind of hanging. Well, the person did when he saw well, it. Yeah, it was hanging loose. Got it. There. Okay. I ain't got All right. Yeah. Flow, so you can go ahead. And so you just Alice. you just walk into the room. Mm -hmm. I have right. my shield out, and uh, hand ready to draw a weapon. All right. You come into the room and you see the guy. The first thing you notice is the guy has a has a dagger sticking out of his his chest um, in the bed. She killed him. Yeah, yeah, well, that's what you see. There's a dagger sticking out of his chest. He's not breathing anymore. Um, Such a shame. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. And then yeah, I and the dagger out of his chest. All right. Yeah, it's a nice dagger. It's it's ornate, um, but but. Well, all right then. And as you take the dagger, you see a little piece of parchment next to it because you take the dagger that says, uh, "Come get me if you dare." Oh yes. Oh, that's a challenge. Yep. Oh yes, yes we are. <laughs> uh, but before, but before we head into there, before White heads into there, I rummage through his body for some stuff. So, some sure. stuff for some goodies. Make an investigation. Uh, Is something else. up with this room? Did they do something to this room? Is anything trapped or? 
Uh, make a perception check. Oh man. On my investigation, I got a nat one. Holy cow. Yeah, plus three, so it's four. Uh, yeah, you but. stick your hands in his pockets and your hands just come away like soaked in blood. Gross. That's beautiful. Yeah, and then there's also like a really soggy with blood piece of bread that you find, like old piece of bread that you can't just like stick in. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm not going to throw up. Not a vampire. So. <laughs> Maybe you should stop sticking your hands in people and dead people. I, I, I like stuff. I steal. I steal Is everything. I still want to eat the bread? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. Yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> yes. Didn't yeah. Know vampire, homie. Throw the bread down. I wipe my hands like on my but you started saying something about jeans. the door, your by jeans. The way. <laughs> your pants. What? You started saying. Oh, you see because you investigate. The door is closed on the other the other part of the room, and it is it is yeah, it's just closed up, locked, ready to go. Okay. You see a faint right. purpley go light. Go get white. Yeah. A light. You said. You see a faint purpley light coming from the bottom of the door. Okay. Huh. So uh yeah, I'll walk over to the door. I won't reach because i don't know if i can go yeah i got you. um purple. Mm-hmm. purple uh and i will just give it a nice little nudge to see if it will open up first mm-hmm. um almost to check if it's locked mm-hmm. yeah it's yeah. not locked it's not locked so no. it's open mm-hmm. okay so it gives he wants a little bit come. bro check um so i would like to use my stealth to see if I can open up the door quietly um, without being seen. If she's waiting for us, should we figure out a way to open the door and no one's there? Like, is there a way to kind of trick her? Oh, uh, like, like if she's hat gonna trick, throw I don't, the, like hat, throw, like we'll throw the dead body in there. Like, I'm kind of like door. something that does. trick, do you this. have abilities like that to like <laughs> cause doors and? things to open didn't you use that at, like one of the bars i can so so i can cast press digitation which can i guess it can un it can move and open like un unlocked doors and shutters and stuff if so i can if we I'm hide on one side of it and then open the door just because i get this feeling if she's waiting for us that the second that door opens it's gonna yeah. be gnarly no i don't think press digitation will let you do that or can king like throw the barrel in the room or something just to he does have a shield. Yeah. But, yeah. I'll throw a barrel. I don't care. Can, it's up to I you guys. Yeah. What, what do you want to do? Well, do, you want, do we want to sell in the room like we did in the other room? Or do we want to try to trick her up because she thinks we're just going to come in there? If there is a projectile, uh, mind you, I do have a shield of uh, missile attraction. So any projectiles, it will come straight to my shield. Yeah. Okay. I think we should just... I, I ain't got right, nothing, so maybe go. we should just go in. Let's do this. You enter the room, and the lights along... There are torches burning with a purple light all along the walls. There is, the room is... The room is an odd shape. Oh, man. It looks something like this. Okay. Which, awesome. It doesn't fit. There we go. This reminds me of the... Uh, it, it went... Alder cave. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. There is a chair <laughs> at the end of the room. Oh, man. Where do you keep your furniture? With a desk. We'll call this a desk. Etsy, yep. <laughs> <laughs> there's like a get cool... Paid for the plug. There's a cool... Yeah, right. There's a cool little clock the against haunted. the wall that's ticking. Oh, okay. Before and the room freaking collapse on our heads. And then besides those, the this bookcase of like various books and this clock um there's nothing else in the room and at the the end of the table or at the end of the room all the way at the back there is a woman she is sitting currently but i'll just put it next to the chair um who is and with her puppy a big wolf bigger than all the other ones you've seen so far um with black jet black hair um and he they she's sitting stroking his head and saying, you know, <laughs> Alder said you might be around uh, to pay us a visit, maybe. Good do-gooders always seem to find a way, don't they? Well, I'm glad you've come. I'm glad. And there's always more thugs to find. There's a million of those in the world. I don't care if you've killed my people. I killed my own. Do you see my dagger and my message for you? And you still come. 
and she pulls out a dagger that's curved and wicked, and she fingers the edge, and black ooze started starts dripping from the dagger. Yes. Can I like totally ruin her monologue? by having like a sing song. So one thing I can do with <laughs> prestidigitation is I can make like a rhyming sound. So basically like a preschool rhyme or like something really stupid, like start playing in the background <laughs> to completely ruin it for her. <laughs> Everybody do your share. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> like sure. sh- I pull out a deck of cards that I'm over there doing. <laughs> so are you, you're not that far back then, right? No, 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 I'd be at the door. We're all pretty close, like looking yeah, over. Yeah, like, we're, we're all pretty I'm gonna say you've entered. There we go. You guys are right behind in the doorway. Cool. Oh no, Dallas, no, don't die. <laughs> <laughs> There's a gap. The trap door. There's a hole. Dallas, no, don't die. <laughs> <laughs> and she stops in her monologue <laughs> and just glares deeply at you with the point of her dagger and the black ooze that's dripping from it still in her hand. And she stares at you with like a fire that's burning in her eyes. She says, I hope you're prepared to die for that. <laughs> I've been dying Get her to king. say this, <laughs> but I want to yell out, mess with the best, die like the rest. <laughs> and so uh, let's attack, and I will charge. Okay, well, okay so at this been, point, king initiates. <laughs> king yeah. king initiates king. battle. Okay, right. let's roll that. for... I encourage yeah. violence. Oh. Yeah. Initiative, everybody. <laughs> Initiative. <laughs> oh man. Twelve. Alright, King gets a twelve. <laughs> Hat trick. Nine. Oh my god. <laughs> Wyatt. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Valis. Five. Five. Good thing you're in front, Wyatt. Alright. You guys got some really good initiative and they got some really bad. Alright. So you uh, she stands up from her chair. Uh, with her dagger in hand, and Wyatt, you get to go first. Okay. There is about 30 feet between you right now to the other side of the room. Okay. Uh, so I will, um, I will put my shield away, take out my crossbow, and aim it for the wolf. Okay. Let me... Is it still in, within an hour of when I hex the first person? I'm assuming it is. Uh, yeah, probably. Okay. Mm-hmm. I don't I think you spent that much time. I think the... I can still transfer it over to her. Does a seven hit? It does not. That is lovely. The wolf just sidesteps to the side, like with surprising agility for such a large beast. And it, it clatters to the ground as if it was just a toy. Uh huh. Would you like to move at all? No. All right. Absolutely not. <laughs> I was like looking at my bonus actions. I'm like, all right, this does not help right here in this particular moment. So I'll just end my turn there. All right. King, you're up. All right. We have chosen violence. I have a hand axe that I am going to throw at her. Throw at her. Okay. Go for it. Throw a hand axe at Hansel. Ten? Ten does not hit. She, as the axe flies across the room, she like raises her hand, this is just for fun, uh, and a purpley like shield-like thing just appears and and, like falls off to the ground. That is not an ability, that's just for fun, just so you guys know. Okay, I was (laughs) like, oh crap. (laughs) That's just for flavors before you freak out. Uh, (laughs) But yes. All right, and then Tetrick, you're up. Oh man, okay, With a nine. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna come run, come running in like I regret nothing, and, <laughs> like, and uh, I'm gonna run in. Let's see, I'm right there. Probably like mm, just to just to the side of the the bookshelf. I okay. don't know. Can I get even like partial cover there? Or probably not, huh? Depends on probably where she's standing at the time. Yeah. Um, or the and yeah. I'm gonna re. Let's see. Mm. I would say right now you have partial cover from her, but she can easily move. That's okay. what I'm saying. She can move and you wouldn't have cover. Um, I'm just going to, I think I'm going to hex her and I'm going to, um, I'm going to actually, uh, our ability check that I'm going to choose is actually a uh, dex. Okay. Um, Does it have to roll to hit or is it a... Uh, so no, it's just you automatically curse somebody, but it's it's only for ability, so it doesn't it doesn't count as like saving throws. It's just if she's trying to do something dexterous, okay. 
um, she's not able to do that basically while hexed. Okay, or is it disadvantage? Uh, yeah, it's disadvantage. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Um, and then I'm gonna, even though it doesn't affect saving throws, uh, I'm gonna try a sacred flame on her. Okay. Because it does radiant damage. She seems extremely evil and wouldn't like this. Okay. So she has to make a dexterity saving throw, uh, DC 13. Okay. It is a uh, uh, dex save, mm -hmm. 20. Dang. So, yeah, she did really good. Um, and I think that's all I can do on my turn. Again, another hand up, purpley reflective uh, appears, and the radiance blasts again, and it spills over like like liquid and disappears. Yeah, that's and she, all I got. she, at the back of the chamber, starts laughing. <laughs> this is the best you can do. <laughs> back to King. We're doing great, guys. <laughs> I'm not scared at all. Get him, Alice. <laughs> we, we started battle like this more than once. So. That's, that's right. true. We got this. She looks down at the wolf, and she says, Go get him, princess. And oh, dear lord. <laughs> <laughs> and the wolf, uh... What is its movement speed? Probably a lot. Yeah, 40. That's plenty. The wolf makes a mad dash. Makes a mad dash for you mm -hmm. in the corner and attempts to attack you. It is a 21 hit. Yep. Yeah. Is a 21 never not good? <laughs> Actually, sometimes. At higher levels, yeah. yeah. And he does seven bite damage, and you have Ouch. to make a strength saving throw. Uh, I rolled a nine. A nine. I yep, was that failed. So you've been knocked prone. And the wolf just growls and snarls at you guys, standing over Hattrick's body, like a uh, prone body at this point, and glares at King and Wyatt, who are in the doorway. Awesome. It's finally Hansel's turn. Oh. She walks around the desk and stands in front of you. She raises her hand, and purple light spills from it. And you guys don't see at first what it, it does. It just the, dis, the the light dissipates, and then um, from behind uh, Wyatt, you let's see. Nice. Okay. You're going to that does not hit. Um, nothing happens. Uh, <laughs> Praise God. Actually, you see Valis. You're behind Wyatt, aren't you? Mm -hmm. A purple dagger appears behind him. Um, and attempts to uh, stab him, but it glances off his armor. So you might feel a little pressure. Um, and it floats there. So floating dagger out of nowhere? Mm -hmm. It's just like apparated. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's probably like a cloud of daggers type spell. Nice, she still has an action. How great is that? And she walks like... Like, it's like the fastest walk you've ever seen. It's like she's sauntering, but she closes the space in like this, like, it's unnatural. You know, it's like The Shining where the, the girl appears, you know? You know, she walks across, saunters up to Wyatt. Oh, jeez. And looks almost oh, seductively man. into your eyes and says, are you really ready for this?